What's up guys, we are back with you what? Number five? You know, we're getting there. We have been here for a month now. It's been it's been going pretty well. Um this week is a really I think a lot of people are buzzing. Um but yeah, let's get on with the intro. So I am Jace, here every week with my co star. Oh yeah, that's right. Squeak. Oh yeah. <laughs> Hello <laughs> <sighs> So yeah, let's just get straight into it. It's it's really exciting. I mean tomorrow. Tomorrow is the release of the F word. Mm, that is a very good point. How, how are you feeling about it? Um, pretty good. I mean, you know, it, it's one of those where I sort of know what I'm set for the next few months like, <laughs> for for games. Just pizzas and Fallout. Pizzas yeah. and Fallout. The occasional Chinese order. I might pay someone to like come in every now and again and wash me. <laughs> um. <laughs> Just to make sure that I'm I'm sort of relatively hygienic and maybe change my shit bucket. Yeah, but I feel like Just Eat was made for moments like like tomorrow. It really was. The only thing is, it's not in a way because you've got to get up and answer the door. Right. Yeah, but that's a lot quicker than having to actually prepare something. No, or they need having to, to go like, get it. They need to introduce like a new thing, like like um. Like, you know, elderly people, you have carers, and on the outside of buildings, sometimes you have, like, a little box with keys in. Okay, yeah. So they can just let themselves in. They should do that. Just eat keys. It's like, The thing hey. you've got to do is just get that close to your local... And, like, once you've had the same delivery guy, like, three or four times, you know, exchange names, and be like, boss, I'm going to give you a spare key. Like, it's just like, come in, I'll show you the layout of the house, okay? And he'll, he'll This is where like, I'll be. <laughs> I've seen films like this before, <laughs> right? And yeah. it's not going where I want it to go. And you can just be like, oh, you know, just next time I call, when it says my name, like, what's your name? And then in the notes section on Just Eat, you can put, like, if Bob's not delivering my food, don't fucking bother. <laughs> wow. Bob's got the keys. Bob's got the keys. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I mean, I, oh man, it'd be nice to go into the games library, press Fallout, and it not tell you, and yeah, the game to actually come up. Yeah, oh, that should be cool. That should be well cool. Oh. Um, I mean, have you have you heard about the whole like game messing up loads of people's pre-orders as well? Have you heard about that? Uh, no, no, I have not. Um, so yeah, a load of people got emails. And it basically says, hi, some important information on your order. We've tried to process your order and have hit a few issues. Unfortunately, your bank has come back to us and they have not allowed the payment to go through. For your security and privacy, they do not share the reasons with us. We do know that they usually reject payments for some of the following reasons. So bill and address, sufficient funds or card expired. Um, what this means is that we cannot collect payment or ship your order right now. So people are finding out, well, have have been finding out over the last week that they haven't actually got their, their pre-order. So... Is this is this a solely a game problem? Just sort game, of thing? yeah. Like, just and game, game digital. Like <clears throat> all banks as well, or is it like? This is the thing. It's one of those where, like the what's had what's happened is like uh, the people at game, so like at game help on Twitter have been trying to like deal with as much as they can. Obviously, when everybody got these messages, their their helpline just got flooded, and people were waiting like in excess of two hours to talk to anyone. Wow. I would um, never wait on the phone that long. It's, it's crazy. But it's just one of those things where, you know, people I, have put up pictures of, like, their phone and how long they've been on hold and stuff. And it's... it's see, I just openly go on the rampage. <laughs> just go postal, yeah? Yeah, just go postal. And then if, if they're like, well, what happened? They'll be like, blame game. <laughs> just saying. Blame game. I went, I went I went Fallout. Fallout 4. I went yeah. Fallout. <laughs> I became yeah. a raider. That's the thing. You'll have you'll have everybody like putting a thumb up at you because they'll see that explosion just one, come from where you are. Like one way or another, I'm playing Fallout, whether it's on a console or in the real world. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, so I mean, that's that's been quite interesting, really. I'm, you know, I've got my Pip Boy edition coming, but the thing that's really good is I did mine in store. Yeah, yeah. Um. Yeah. So yeah, it'd be interesting to to see. see. I just did mine from that. 
the Xbox market. That's the thing. If you're getting the, if you're just getting the base game, then you know you can do it digitally. But yeah, I I did that. I got that, and then they brought out the season pass, didn't they? So I got the season pass the other day as well. Because oh. although although nothing's been announced yet, I'm I have faith. Okay. I have faith. Okay, so we're gonna take a take a quick break from the F word just for now. I'm sure we'll be back because oh my god, tomorrow, flannels. tomorrow. What did you say? Flannels. Flannels. I couldn't tell you the last time I used a flannel. The F word. There are many F words, aren't there? There are a lot of F words. Flanges. Farts. Like good... today, I um. I can't think of another one. We were we were <laughs> we went out to buy. <laughs> Stuff for the cats. And whilst we stood in one aisle, like we were in the range and I was stood looking at like loads of car care products and you know, I may have kind of forgot where I was. So I just let off a quick blast in the aisle, yeah. I was gonna say It was so loud, right? <laughs> the funny thing is is me being me, I didn't care, I just continued browsing. Like people looked at me, I didn't look at them, but I could feel their eyes on me. The funniest thing was how quickly Nicola got out of there. My partner just <laughs> left me. <laughs> she was just like, Nope. And then I got up with her and went, where'd you go? She's like, I'm not standing next to you if you're doing that. I'm like, oh, all right. Mm. So yeah, there's another F word, fart. Fart, uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, so, so, so moving on. How did um, you forget where you were, though? It, it, not even that. It's not like, oh, I forgot I wasn't at home. But I was just kind of like, I felt a fart come in. So I was just like, oh, let me just... Why not? Let me just let everyone go, you know, it happens. But yeah, it was, it was a good one. It was a good was one. It? it really was. Um, yeah, so, so we're going we're gonna to try something a bit new. So the next segment, we're going to be watching a trailer because the the trailer for Warcraft came out uh, last week. There's been a lot of buzz on it. I know Squeak, you've seen it. Um, I've not seen it because I thought, you know, we'll try this this new thing. We'll see what happens. So for people on YouTube, you get the benefit of of seeing the trailer at the same time because I'll have it up. Um, people that listen to it on the podcast, I do apologize. I will try not to be silent. If it's really good, you'll get loads of oohs and ahs and you know. But I mean, Squeak, are you hovering over your play button? Um. Well, I am now that you've said that. Okay, I'm going to cast in. It's going to be a 3, 2, 1, and I'm going to say play. Okay, don't go on 1, go on play. Play, yeah. Okay? This could go, <laughs> this could go horribly wrong. <laughs> well, let's see what happens. Right, 3, 2, I press 1, play. play. Okay. Ooh. Uh, it's just... <laughs> Universal. setting the scene quite a bit, isn't it? Our world has been at peace. But our griffin looks sick. Coming. The thing is that the actual CGI it. in it looks pretty decent. Right? Yeah. Dark forces are upon us. The actual environments as well. Oi, those orcs look Find mad. The beasts. They look massive, they don't they? Yeah. Like hench. Our world is dying. They've been benching people for there years. There's nothing like. to go back to. <laughs> If our people are to survive, we must make a home here. Yeah, I do. I think the CGI looks... looks, looks but you can tell it's CGI, obviously, but like... But at the same time, like... Do not unite our world that's how you'd imagine them looking? Yeah, yeah, happen. yeah. There is one who may help us. For Ooh. orcs, there is no other life but war. This is one of those as well. I want them to do the large-scale no, stuff. Like, you know, in like, Lord of the, the Rings, some of the battles were just yeah. like... I was gonna Are say, it's got sort of like a, a Lord of the Rings feel to it, that kind of like fantasy. Yeah. Like, obviously, like, yeah, but the you know what I mean. Or like, you know when um, on Game they of Thrones, when they'd have like the massive wars and it would just show it from like a top down view? Yeah, see, just like, be kicking off, like. We like when Stannis tried to storm the castle and you just seen all the. Oh, that was too short, though. Stannis died within like cars. five minutes. Oh, suicide. little orc babies. We have no choice. We should attack with full force. That's what I like. Whatever you plan to do, do it now! The orcs are just basically like the Hulk. Like, just, Hulk. They're just muscle. <laughs> they don't have bones, they're just muscle. On muscle. Okay. They're, they're like... I, I reckon they got tiny in on that. Yeah, you know, uh, more than likely. He trained all the orcs. Do you know what? That was really decent, man. I really like that. The henchest man alive. It's just yeah. one of those things where, like, you know, trailers trailers are made to show enough to get you enticed sort of thing. So you, you often get trailers where you see the best parts in the trailer. The thing um, is, as someone that's, like, 
I, I've never played World of Warcraft. Hmm. And I, I, it's one of those things I've never wanted to play it because it seems like one of those things where you've got to put a lot of time into it yeah. sort of thing. But I'd say as someone who comes from it and not relating it to a game sort of thing, and I, it looks pretty decent. Like It could be a easy just a standalone film that doesn't need the, that sort of franchise behind it sort That's of thing. the thing, isn't it? It's one of those things where, like, when they do... If you do a good film, but then loosely link it to a video game, like, there, I'm sure there'll be so many fanboys that are excited, but when the film comes out, they will complain about so many things. Even though, yeah. like, you know, Warcraft isn't isn't linear. It's an RPG. You know, there are quests and there are some big events that happen. So it'll be interesting to see, to see how it pans out. Because when you look at films like... Um, like I've said to you before, Captain America, The Winter Soldier, it's a really good film that just happens to have a superhero in it. Yeah. yeah. Do you know what I mean? That, that looks like it's going to be a really good film that happens to have elements of a video game in it, not not like where they take, if you look back in like the 90s, like with the Super Mario film, and just how it was a um, terrible uh, film. So terrible. And they didn't stick true to the game at all. It, but it's either you go all game or you get a really good story. You don't, yeah, you don't dab yeah. in the middle. It's the thing of like, there's no, there seemed like no relation to the game at all, sort mm. of thing. Like, they just give it the Mario name. Yeah. Like, like I mean, at just... least I guess this has got, like, this will have the sort of factions and races in, I'm guessing. I was thinking, with, like, obviously Activision Blizzard have become, like, a, you know, a power couple. Um, and with Activision Blizzard becoming a studio, like, there's talks of Call of Duty possibly heading for the small screen and having its own. TV show is a no. Do you know what the thing is, there? Do you know what Call of Duty would end up being? It would be like um, what's the one with LL Cool J and uh, oh, and NCIS. Uh, yeah, NCIS LA. NCIS is there's two isn't there? CSI in it. Yeah, but I reckon yeah, I reckon it'll be like that kind of show or like Hawaii Five O, like when they rebooted it. I reckon it'll be like I, that. I just can't get down with that. <laughs> I, I just can't get down with that. I, the thing is, it will it will kind of. It will kind of be like 90s TV now, in the way that you used to get those shows, and they were like each episode was like a single episode. There was a beginning, middle, and end to every episode, but then there was like this. There was a really continuous like backstory. But the, yeah, there was like an arch somewhere. Yeah. Know? Like oh, I, I like, Squeak, I like he's a, he's a stuff. badass. He hasn't spoke for like six years, and then <laughs> over the series we find out why Squeak hasn't spoke for six years. Or like, like one day he just says something. flashbacks. <laughs> Right. <laughs> it's like, oh, he once saw his family torn apart by timber wolves, and then, and then when you find, then you, later on in the season, you see that timber wolf and you kill it, and then you say your first word. Yeah. Yeah. But sorry, not you. Squeak. Squeak does. I can't think of a, a good line that would go with killing a timber wolf. <laughs> timber. Right. No, because <laughs> it'd, it'd be on the ground anyway. Like, like I was trying to think of something wood related. <sighs> Okay. Oh yeah, I don't know. But yeah, carrying on with like stuff going to the big screen, I, was, I thought I'd look up and see if there were plans because you know stuff often goes into production. Some stuff doesn't make out the other side. But I was just looking, and you know, that recent was... films that are based on video games. You had Need for Speed. Did you watch that film? With is his name Aaron no, Paul? No, no, I didn't because it was linked with Need for Speed. Okay. It was okay. I mean, it wasn't one. It was just it was a it was a film that was about cars. And I know you're a fan of nice speedy cars. I do. I like. I. So it was worth. Well, it. I say that. I was gonna say I like um, the Fast and the Furious franchise, but. But the Fast I, and Furious became less about racing. It's a yeah secret agents in cars film now. Stupid bullshit. Whereas yeah, Need for Speed, like the story wasn't that great. It was okay. Um, but if you wanted to see just tons of cars racing, then yeah, it's, it's decent for that. Um, okay. And then, you know, we've recently had Hitman Agent 47. I haven't seen that yet. See, I just thought Need for Speed would be poorly made, like the games. No, it was okay. Like I said to you, the, like I'm saying to you, the story's okay. It's not great. It's not <laughs> amazing. But I just okay. remember just kind of like seeing so many cars and be like, yeah, that looks sick. Yeah, that looks hit, sick. What did you think of the Hitman film that they made a while ago? The 2007? Uh, I quite I enjoyed that. Yeah. It, 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 the thing is, I feel like that Hitman was a bit like um, the Transporter. Yeah, I did feel like he was Not just because he's wearing a suit, but... A bald Transporter. Yeah, the, th the Transporter the was bald though. Jason Statham was bald. He's got yeah, but it's more shaved. If you look at if you look at Hitman, his yeah. baldness was like he had a fucking say, hit, shiny head. Hitman's like you, isn't it? Like takes the big razor to it. Yeah, 
I, hey, my hair's grown out, buddy. Really? Do you like a shaggy dog now? No, it's not that long. Hmm. Like, Jesus. <laughs> Fucking. <laughs> okay, I like Jesus. <laughs> um, yeah, so they're, obviously they're bringing out a new Hitman. I haven't seen it yet, but the trailers looked all right. But it was I don't like things. the look of the guy. Yeah, I think it's he's, because he's too he's, thin, isn't he? He's like I was going to say, it's his build. And it sounds really dumb, but it's one of those things where I think you have... Like, at least the other Hitman, he was sort of, like, quite big, but not, like, stupidly big, if you know what I mean. Yeah. Like... Uh, and isn't isn't it the guy that was in, um... Like, he was in Game of Thrones, but then his character got replaced, basically. Like, his, oh, like really? the actor changed, yeah. You know, because he, he, um, he got... He bedded, uh... Daenerys... Oh, is it the the one that was there before? He's the one that brought the two heads to her, like you know. His, yeah, 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 yeah. Kind yeah, I know. Who, I know who you're about. Sure. Um, I forget their actual. Yeah. I don't um. Know. What's the name of the the actual <laughs> crew? Yeah, I don't know, but those yeah. guys. I think it's him because obviously he changed, and now it's that other guy now. Um, but yeah, going back to movies, video games into movies, planned for April twenty ninth, two thousand and sixteen, is a Ratchet and Clank movie. Sony are pushing a Ratchet and Clank movie. You know what? I like Ratchet and Clank. Um, I think it'd be. A, I think it could be a fun one. I yeah. Just, it's just not. A, it's not a game that I would see them going. Oh, let's make this into a film. Obviously, there was news a little while back before we even started the podcast of the Angry Birds movie. That's you from May 2016. Wait, that's the thing. An- yep, Angry Birds movie. Really? Yep. Um, for those wondering what the noise is in the background... That is my dog. That is his tap dancing dog. <laughs> <laughs> I just yeah. thought then, do we ignore it? Or... No, no, we'll, I, we'll bring it I up. Know, I was We're like, human I was, beings. I was going to say, is, is my dog... Yeah. So, just for people that don't know, Squeak, how old is your dog? Uh, she's like 16. And how long has she been tap dancing for? Uh, ooh, maybe eight years. <laughs> and the thing that's great is, you know, she wears a top hat and twirls a cane. Yeah. Still going strong. <laughs> so, yeah, moving on, um, the Warcraft <laughs> movie is due for for June next year, June tenth, two thousand sixteen. Then I saw something that could be that could be good, but also has the potential to be terrible. December twenty first, twenty sixteen, Ubisoft are planning a, an Assassin's Creed movie. No, no. I Cause, feel because it's a bit like what I said last time with the games. I can tell you what will be in it. They will be running and jumping. And that's the thing. I feel though that stabbing. they have a they have a chance to to make a really good parkour movie. But they won't. You know they won't. They won't. Like I'm trying to think what the... that film was because there was that French film that was like a yeah. martial arts film all the free Dis- running. District um, District 13. Yeah, I feel like you know. Is it District 13? I don't think it was 13. We'll have to, we'll have to look it up. But yeah, they're, they're, with that. I feel like they that's the element of it they could do really well. Uh, it was. I was right. Just saying. Oh, all right. In your face. One nil. Um, In your face. <laughs> Take that. But yeah, because it just says Assassin's Creed. The problem is, is that with Assassin's Creed, like obviously the story wasn't just the period that he was in. So it all depends on, are they going to try and fit the arc that went between games of, uh, what was the guy called in the real world? Desmond. Yeah. Desmond, yeah. Are they going to do those arcs? Or are they just going to stick to a, a period, you know, are you going to be Ezio for, like, not are you going to be, is it going to be Ezio in the film? Are they just going to, yeah, that's the thing the, I wonder. The thing is, in, like, in Black Flag, mm-hmm. um, you're not actually Ezio, uh, not Ezio, what am I on about? Uh, Desmond, as far as I know. I've not yeah, completed the like game. It was like a hot, like a experiencing, wasn't it? You're like in like this. It's like a computer game. Yeah. Almost. And yeah, and you was working for a big evil corporation, which in my eyes, I don't know if it was sort of like an inward dig at like Ubisoft, but okay. like that's how I saw it. Yeah. I was like, Ubisoft is this massive evil corporation, and they're making me play their well, fucking games. Talking about evil corporations and on the theme of a game that has countless se- sequels, we've got a movie, and they've actually called this one the final chapter. Okay, January twenty seventh, two thousand and seventeen. Capcom are releasing Resident Evil, the final chapter. Bullshit. Like, they're doing another one. No, that's, yeah, that's bullshit. 
It's just yeah. it's just really annoying because they started off so well. Like even though again the story wasn't that great. Like the first Resident Evil movie was a good time. The second one was a good time. The third one get silly. The fourth one come on. Uh, the thing is, it, they I feel that I don't know I don't know what we should call this whole thing like Call of Duty fight. <laughs> I don't know, like just yeah. where you get a franchise and you absolutely annihilate it. Mm. Like, it's yeah, no, I I just I can't get down with that. Um, for June thirtieth, two thousand seventeen, there's a game coming out now. Not the game. There's a film coming out. I think it could be a decent um a decent film, but based on like with that game kind of being the the brother slash sister of another game. I feel like... So, cut the chase. This film is going to be released by Sony again. It's Mm -hmm. Uncharted. They plan to do an Uncharted movie for 2017. I reckon that could be quite good. The thing is, the game I'm saying that I associate with is Tomb Raider. The The first Tomb Raider was alright. I think think if they did an Uncharted film, it would be very much Indiana Jones. No, like, sort of like... Mm. It'd have the Tomb Raider sort of elements to it, but then the sort of humour. Yeah. Because if if you've played Uncharted and that, there's like sort of... Like, I don't know if you've seen the new trailer for the, the new one, but you're driving over roofs and stuff and just like... It just looks mad. But, okay. Whereas Tomb Raider seems to have grounded itself and gone a bit more serious. But the thing is with Tomb Raider, like... The old Tomb Raider was more like puzzles and stuff, yeah. and this Tomb Raider is just a, it's gone sort of generic, generic Action shooter sort of thing. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I don't know. And then the, there's two more that is uh, that is on this list. They're both TBAs though. There's no date or anything planned. Um, Sony are planning to bring out Sly Cooper. Is that that raccoon? Yeah, I never, I never played that. I haven't played it either. Mm. Sometimes I feel like I'm just too much of an Xbox fanboy. I just, I just feel like if we would have done this, this podcast, you know, what six years ago, before the kids and stuff, before I had kids, and and I had like a Wii and an Xbox and a PlayStation, and I'm just kind of like, I haven't bought a console in I don't know how long. I have an Xbox because yeah. it was a birthday present. The thing is, I've, I feel like I miss out on quite a bit. Emulators, man. Emulators. Well, you want me to get a PS4 emulator? Totally. <laughs> you get me a di- okay do you know what? I will look into that <laughs> <laughs> and yeah and then the last one Sega and again it's TB- I, I expect this one's just been a TBA for god knows how long if if Sega were going to produce a movie who would be the star oh god I don't know think man it's just so obvious it's in your face Sega who would they choose? Oh, you mean Sonic? Sonic. They have... oh, wait, I thought you meant an actual person when you said that. Oh, I didn't think no. you meant, like, their so, yeah. character. Yeah, it's always going to be Sonic, Sonic, isn't it? A Sonic movie. Thing really? is, that would, have to be a, that would have to be a CGI, wouldn't it? Yeah. Or, yeah, it would. Or, like, a cartoon. Mm. Mm. Yeah, so those, those are the movies that, that apparently have planned over the next few years. I, I reckon the Ratchet and Clank one could be quite good if they uh, if they do it right. It could be a really fun movie, couldn't it? Be- because I don't know, did you did you ever play the games? Uh, I played one of them, but not sure which, one of the earlier ones. Were they on PlayStation? Uh, the I think it was PS2. They started out. Okay, on. yeah, I played one of the early ones. Yeah, yeah, it was PS2 because. Of, yeah, emulators again. Mm. Like, like I, uh, you say, I downloaded it the other day. Okay. Emulators, emulation. Yeah. Okay, cool. So yeah, that, that's that's basically the the movies and stuff. And it's interesting with the Activision Blizzard becoming together and all these plans for movies because with things with platforms like YouTube, I, mean, I don't know if you ever watched and, and even Netflix. Did you ever watch um Video Game High School? Because that was like an independent mm. thing that became a series. No. And and. I, I, I saw that at yours, didn't I? Yeah, yeah. Is that that? that? Yeah. Yeah, so what's a little bit there? And it's just interesting that, you know, there are these other platforms. Like, when they'd done that, um, the Mortal Kombat series that was on YouTube, and then then you had the Street Fighter one as well. And it's interesting how they're able to do it differently now. You don't necessarily have to make a movie to... You know, you can make small, short films. Yeah, I mean... And get them out there. Look at that Kung Fury. That's half an hour long. Yeah. And that's a film, like... I love that back-to-back weeks mentioned for Kung Fury. 
I know. The thing is that that had so much. I think that had so much action in it in the in the thirty minutes that if they had that an hour or two hours long, people's heads would explode. <laughs> yeah, actually, I do. I do actually think that might happen. Right, uh, it's insane. Um, yeah, I mean, I've been looking on looking on Twitter and things, looking at stuff that's been trending. The the main things that I've seen trending have been the F word. Um. And there's been a bit about Star Wars. I think those have been the main two key things that have been about, really. Mm. Um, you know what? I've not I've not actually heard much mention of many of the games. I think the Fallout hype has actually took over. The the F word hype. Fallout, yeah. <laughs> the thing is, there's so mad is that <laughs> if you remember, if it wasn't last week, it was the week before when like there was an article from Microsoft saying that they believe that Tomb Raider will be able to, and there's just been... The yeah. only mention I've seen of Tomb Raider was a tweet from Microsoft or a tweet from Xbox. Nobody else has said shit. Yeah. Which is quite interesting, I mean. Yeah, man, it's... It's pretty crazy. It's all about I... Fallout. It's, it's gonna be it's, a good time. It's pretty crazy, but it's that thing where it's like it's super hype now. Like I can see a lot of people being like moany about it <laughs> that, because that's the thing. they've got it's... this unrealistic expectations. It is it. on the pedestal right now, isn't it? Yeah. And and it's you know it's their it's their game to to lose. Yeah. But yeah, I can't. Well, the thing that's a ball ache for me is you know tomorrow I've got my my presentation for uni and then the following week I've got my next presentation for uni so really I'm going to have to put Fallout on the back burner which is where Squeak you come in because I think whilst I'm doing my, my uni work I'm going to be watching you on your 24 hour stream of uh, uh, Fallout 4 you're really pushing for me I'm really pushing 20... for a 24 <laughs> the funny thing is oh who was it somebody's doing a 72 hour stream yeah I think it's Screw Attack they're doing a 72 hour stream the thing is, where where it's brand new. Oh what? The, they want to do seventy two? Fuck you guys! Squeak's doing a ninety six oh hour stream. Oh my god! What are you doing? Ninety six <laughs> hours. I can't. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> <laughs> uh, if you if you do if you I were to do that. a ninety six hour stream, I think I'd die. I would contribute. Like I would go and just eat and buy you a pizza. That could be your thing. Don't worry about donations. You can just ask people to send you, like, e-vouchers for Just Eat. Wow. Do they do those? Like, gift cards I, for Just Eat? I don't even know. And what you can do is, like, put, like, your neighbor's address, but, like, with your name on it and stuff, so that when the food gets ordered, you know, people get the wrong address, and your neighbor goes, oh, no, he lives there, and then they'll be able to redirect them appropriately. Wait, what? Why would I be putting... Because you don't want to give your actual address out on Twitch. Oh, yeah, that's a... That's a good point. <laughs> I mean, maybe you do want to. I don't know. I don't know. They don't do... I mean, I haven't heard of swatting in the UK. But you might get swatted. Nah. I, I might get, swat you. I might get... Like, I don't know. People might gate crash. <laughs> get more outfit. dildos in the post. Oh, wow. Well. Because um... <laughs> that's all I need. <laughs> more dildos. More dildos. Happy days. I really hate how... <laughs> like... <laughs> Suddenly, it's about me getting a dildo in the <laughs> uh, Yeah, so then we'll move on to our, our final segment of the week. Buy it. Okay, you didn't buy it, but you did receive one. I yes? did receive one. Okay. <laughs> I, and this is why a... you don't give your address out to strangers. I'm, it's not a stranger, though. <laughs> right, it just sounds weirder if I. <laughs> the worst, this is the worst thing. Like, half an explained story sounds and, terrible. And I love that this is going to keep going on. And once once we tell you what, once we have enough subscribers to have a URL, I will give you a chance to tell the full story. Okay. But I'm not going to give you a chance until we can choose a URL. Um, so yeah, <laughs> moving on to the final segment. It's the WhatsApp segment. Now this isn't a new app. It it isn't an app that I've just been playing this week, but it is our app of the week, just because of our theme on the F word. It is Fallout Shelter. Um, Squeak, I know you've been playing this app as well yourself you joined it a bit later um i don't know if you want to give an explanation this week on, on what the game's about all right jeez you apple snob yeah <laughs> oh, do you know i forgot i forgot it ios it had it later. first no no yeah. I, I just i genuinely forgot that it was out on android later apologies 
So, wait, what was, what so was you're just question? you were just describing <laughs> the app. Oh, it's 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 just like a base builder, isn't it? In a way, like uh, that's, I don't know, I don't know how to explain it because it's not really a, a time management sort of thing, is it? No. Would you say? Because. I mean, it's got that element of it where you send your your guys out into the wasteland and that. But other than that, it's sort of just like a, a management style hmm. game, I'd say, because it's like making your people happy, making sure they got food and electric, making sure they're not dying on you. But like, all my people are unhappy, unhappy and pregnant. <laughs> Whether that's like. Well, um... I've, you know, I've I've experienced that in the real world, and I just find that pregnant people are just miserable people. Yeah, but yeah, I've not had anyone die on me yet, proper okay. that I couldn't revive. So I think, oh, you know, I think you can revive them every time. The the system that I've ended up having is where I've been playing it for. When you get people to like level fifty, the caps level fifty, and you can send them into the wasteland. If you send them out, they can hold a maximum of twenty five stims and a maximum of twenty five radaways. Um, when you send them out, they'll survive for about two days. And then when yeah. you look at them, the amount of money they've collected will be more than it costs to revive them. Yeah. So that's pretty much the system that I've got. I mean, it's one of those games where, yeah, you start off with a few people and you need to get more people in in order to build the more advanced stuff. How do you get your people to be happy, though? Mine well, what sad. you have to do is you look at their stats. So obviously they've got the special, you know, they follow special like all the F-word games. Um, and if you've got somebody whose uh, stat is in strength, then you'd put them in the power plant because the power plant requires people to have strength. So the more people you have with a higher rating of the strength, then they'll generate power faster in in there. Oh no, I know that. But that's, well, that's how you make them happy: is put them in the thing where they where they are best, but also remove dead bodies. No, there's no dead bodies. I'm quite clean, actually. Have you um, have you got enough energy, food, and water? No, because be it. the fuckers aren't working hard enough. I don't think it's them not working hard enough. No, they're not. The top tip is the You're top tip is the fucking... to take your time. If you build too quick, I mean, like the dwellers of Vault Six Six Six, they didn't last very long. So then I just cut my ties and went with Vault Nine Nine Nine, and they're going quite strong now. I yeah. literally go on there daily, get my bonus, do um. Do the few tasks that you got. The thing is, the tasks they've they've tweaked them now since updates. But you get to get rid of one a day if you want. But I feel like some of them, when you get really far into the game, and it'll say like merge five buildings. The problem is, is that if you're full up, and you don't actually need yeah. to build anything, you're just building like say storage rooms and joining them for no reason. It's a bit of a stupid one. Some of them are ridiculously hard though. So like I had one that said, um, what was it like? Have uh, survive six death claw. Attacks with no um, with no I casualties. Haven't experienced death claws yet. Oh my god! The thing is, the death claws just come in, and you you keep trying to give people the stim packs, keep them alive. But when they're there, if they're doubled up, like you can't press the guy that's behind. It keeps pressing the guy that's in front. Yeah. So they're both losing health at the same rate. You can give the first one stim packs, not the, oh, it, it gets a bit annoying in places like that. I mean, it's I was, a, I was gonna say that is one find at uh, one find one thing I find annoying is that. Uh, like actually, sometimes I I want to grab a person, mm. and it will click the room sort of thing, and yeah. it's sort of like, come on now, like. Right. Yeah, and it's, the thing is as well, is I feel like the enemies get stronger as you level up as well. So okay. like mole rats and and vad roaches and stuff. Even if you give your guy like a flamer and all these really good weapons, like yes, they will die a little bit quicker, but not as quick as you'd want them to be once you've got to that point that you're getting the really good weapons. I mean, it's one of those games as well where you send people out for ages and you try and wait for them to find like legendary weapons. But the best way to get them is through the lunch boxes. But with it being an app, lunch boxes are mainly paid for. If you play it for yeah. a week, you get a lunch box. Every now and again, you'll get like the missions throughout the day. That will I was going to say, box. I I do like that though because you can. It's not necessarily one of those where you will get just one lunch box a day mm. sort of thing. There's a possibility. It's it's pretty rare. like there's no, you don't actually have to spend any sort of money yeah I, no, you don't the thing is remember what his just, name is what's the what's the metal guy with all the hands mr is it mr handy mr handy it's just the fact of like you can get him but you have to pay for him ah uh, okay um i guess it, with mr handy he's one of those odd ones though because if you have him then he'll automatically collect resources for you so i guess that kind of makes the game obsolete that you can just leave it and it does it all automatically 
but at the same time, I feel like, you know, I've got to a point where I've got over 100,000 caps. Like, I'm getting them in quicker than I can spend them now. Okay. And it's one of those things where, you know, what do I do? What do I do with the caps now? They're, they're becoming useless. No, I do hear that. You you get to a point where yeah. you, you're sort of done. So, right. Speak, here's an opportunity for you. This is your this is your first week to do it because you, you haven't played this app. Give it a rating. You you were given the official rating this week. Really? Yep. You were given it how many watts out of five? This is a lot of pressure. Um, I give it a three. Three? Okay. Yeah, I mean, it... It's kept me sort of entertained and stuff, you know. It's it's handy toilet material. Handy or like, toilet material. Well, like, but yeah, it's it's just one of those you can go to whenever, like between things. You know what I mean? It's, it's, mm. It doesn't take all your attention, but then it's not one of those where, like, I'd say Simpsons tap out where you go like, ah, oh, you do that, and then I'll come back to you like two days later. Do you yeah. know what I mean? Like. Yeah. So that one, that one gets three watts out of five. Uh, yeah, I'd okay. say so. No, I, 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 I can agree with that. I've, do you know what we really need? This is this thing we need to make more connection. We need somebody who's quite good at graphic design so we can actually have something so that we can have five of them on the screen and then have like three of them coloured in. Yeah. Something for the future. I'm really good at drawing. You are really good at drawing with crayons yeah. and scrap bits of pe- paper. Pe- 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 well... You're really good at speaking, so fuck you. Whoa. Yeah. I'm a master debater. <laughs> uh. Yeah, so there we go. So I mean we're gonna we're gonna do it's not really a segment, but I feel like this is the final part we do each week. Squeak. Not doing it. Not at all? No. No one at all. You, you already know what it costs. I get that. And the thing is I don't really have anyone this week. See? Run out. There you go. That's, that's, you've Do you blown know what your it is? load too soon. Do you know soon. what it is? It's not me blowing my load too soon. It's it's like you said. You know, I gave shout-outs to people that haven't even bothered listening to the show. Exactly. And I think that's the problem. Oh, and no. I don't want to I don't want to be replicating or, or repeating shout-outs. Um, peak, peak too soon. I haven't peaked too soon. So you make me feel pressure. I feel like I'm going to have to give someone a shout-out now. You've got to give someone a shout-out now, because it's always you that says it. Ah, oh, who are you going to give a shout-out? And you know that I'm not going to give anyone a shout-out, because it costs. Okay, check this. I'm going to give a shout-out to Simon. What? And it's not you. It's not you. <laughs> I was going to say. Like, you yeah, can't no. give shout no, no. out to me. Simon. Because recently Simon's got back into video gaming. Um, it was Simon who you met when you were down last time. Played cards with him. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. I know who and, you know. and yeah, he's been he's been getting back onto Minecraft. He was saying to me that he hasn't played it for so long. Like, now he's jumped on he's playing it vanilla. There's actually loads of new things that he hadn't realised that okay. were on there. So, yeah, do you know what? This week's shout out goes to... Simon, boom, another shout out in the bag. I mean, I can't really run out of people at five. I just feel like I'm trying to find people that are worthy of a shout out. Wow. <laughs> so Simon, I salute you, sir. So there we go. I mean, oh, we've got to try and um, I feel like next week we'll we'll try and get some of the boys on and get their opinions on uh, the F word next week. Well, See what they think. They've all been on duty, isn't it? Ah. Do you know what? I I've been so engrossed on the F word, hadn't even thought about duty. Well, it's bollocks, isn't it? Duty, <laughs> fucking duty. So before he gets on another rant, <laughs> I've been Jace. He's been Squeak. See you next week. Later.